Okay, in this video we want to show you uh, how to assemble all of the electrical components and we're just going to describe them. Initially, here's the charge panel. This has two black wires and a red wire. Here's the rotary switch. It has a black, a black, blue, and red wire. The toggle switch, on-off switch, has a blue and a black wire. The voltmeter has a blue and a red wire. Each of the battery plates uh, is attached to either a black donut wire going to the circuit or a red donut wire. And we've got a 15 amp fuse with red wire. And then the, the pump has a only two wires coming out of it, a red, which is the positive, and then the negative wire will either be a green, a black, or a blue wire. And sorry that's confusing that we keep getting different colors, but the one thing you know for sure is red is always positive and the other color is always negative. Okay, the very first thing we recommend doing if you're assembling a backpack for the first time is we always trim, there's, there's a red wire and two black wires coming off of the charge panel. You know, this is the fuse door there. The very first thing we do is we trim this ground wire right off of the right off of the pin and so if you're retrofitting your unit and you have the old wiring that's the first thing we do is just go in and trim that out and of course you'll take that out of the bundle that leaves you just a black and a red wire um, the the black wire that's left allows current to go through the fuse only the reason we trim the other black wire is it's a direct from the pin to the battery and uh, we we uh, we no longer do that okay so the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect the fuse wire the red fuse wire to the red rotary wire and the way we do that is this is the gauge on the fuse wire is a little bit heavy so but normally we can twist these together and what we do is take this crimp fitting and uh, if you've got a heavy duty uh, pliers that's the best thing to use get plenty of pressure and you may have to do a second pass now that you've got the, now that you've got the red wire going through the 15 amp fuse now all you have to do is just connect all the remaining red wires so we just grab wires from the charge panel, the red wire from the battery spring plate, red wire from the voltmeter, and, oh, and then the red wire coming from the pump. And the single best way to connect these wires without soldering them is twisting them together. So, and this is, this is the most wires that you'll be connecting in one junction it good. We've got these wire nuts. Blue size fits the right gauge. And then we'll go ahead and twist that down so you get a really good connection. And then you over twist by a couple of turns. You see how the insulation turns with that. Okay, we just tried to twist these together and the mistake I made was that the, they're all the five red wires. We left one of the, the, the fuse wire was too long and so when we went to twist them together it just didn't work right so you make sure the wires are about the same length and that's a much better twist okay take the blue wire nut twist that on you got to make sure you get a really good good connection that feels good and then you want to over twist at least a couple of turns you see how the insulation is moving and then test that pull on that next we want to do the black wire and we've already cut cut the wire off of the charge panel so we're down and we're just matching colors so all the black wires black wire from the charge panel black wire from the rotary switch black wire from the red switch and the black wire from the battery terminal and that's going to be four wires that we and you want to match, get all the lengths correct, about the same level, and twist those together. We're almost done. Twist it until you start turning the insulation. 
least two or three turns pull on that that's good and the last connection is the blue wires now the blue wires is a, it's a little bit trickier only because the color of the ground wire from the pump we just don't we we can't reliably say it's it's always one color but we know it's not the red wire coming from the pump in this case it's the green wire so you may have a blue wire you may have a black wire or a green wire uh, and then once we go ahead and twist those together wire nut goes on there that's four wires again right looks like three blue and one green test that okay it's all wired up what we need to mention is the battery plates are have the black and red wires attached to them with the outside screws uh, through donut connectors and the other th one thing you've got to make sure of is if you can is some in earlier wiring versions the screw head was on the inside corner and if you're rewiring these we ask you to take those out and put them in the middle position like this is so this is this is how the battery spring plates should look okay this has been wired up successfully you've got four black three blue with a green whatever ground wire color that is coming from the pump and five red and you do have the 15 amp fuse that's isolated with the rotary switch and you can always just put that cap on the reason we prefer this wiring method is number one it provides a parallel wiring scenario where either the red switch or the rotary switch can turn on the pump independently um, number two the 15 amps fuse is isolated with the rotary switch so that if the rotary switch misbehaves it only affects the it, it, it doesn't take out the rest of the circuit you can still use the red switch and that makes it uh, the whole system a lot more reliable and then of course we mentioned that the ground wire we've taken that off of the charge panel so that there's no direct connection from the pins to the battery everything everything goes through the 10 amp fuse which is here in the drawer so once you have it set up like this you should be in good shape the thing to remember when you're wiring up the M4 is just match colors. It's, it is as simple as that. Black to black, red to red, blue to blue. The only differences will be, the only exception to that is the color of the ground wire coming from the pump. It could be blue, it could be black, or it could be green, as long as it's not red. Red always goes together 100%. Black is always clustered and then blue it could be it could be all four blue wires it could be three blues and a and a black or it could be three blues uh, and a green just like this one just to help clarify which wire we want to keep coming from the charge panel is the wire that's above the red is the black wire above the red wire the black wire across from the red wire is the one that we trim that way, notice this goes through the fuse. Anything making contact through the ground to the battery, directly to the battery, is going through the 10 amp fuse.